This Excel will help you maintain a balanced style of habits. You will keep track of all your habits in one simple view. You will be able to tell week by week how you are sticking to your goal. The setup is simple and clear and makes it easy to track your progress. Let's get straight into it as they say on YouTube. Okay, first let's build a grid. So I have 63 cells long, so that will catch up two months and I have around 20 cells tall. So it's up to you depending on how many habits you want to track. On, on the left of that, I have three columns. Uh, one where I put the starting date. And uh, for instance, I'm just gonna do it straight away. First of January 24. And then I will put the habit category and the habit itself here. So I have three categories. So in order to input the habit category, I've created a new tab that I call settings. And I am naming each one of those categories with a type one, type two, type three. So to name categories, if you don't know how to name fields in Excel, you just uh, select the field and you type here, type one in a, in a field here, type two, type three. So this way we'll be able to refer to the name of the cell. So going back here, what I want to do is I want to validate this field here against the settings category that I have created. So you just go to data, data validation, and you put list. And in the source, you go back to your tab and you select the three here. Now I can select those. So I can just copy all that. Uh, I have money, I have health, and I have spiritual. So I can start inputting my habits now. So now I've inputted a few a few habits. So here I've input a special character. So you go under insert symbol and you go under the web dings font. And you select the, the circle here. I already had it, but uh, <laughs> okay. And I just drag it down and I want to give this a different color based on a category uh, of the habit that we have here. So I just uh, select the field, I go under conditional formatting, I put a new rule and a formula, I use a formula, just I want to give it um, the first color. So if this field here, and I remove the dollar in front of the six, so if this is type one, the type one that we have seen, then I will put the font because the circle is a font as orange and then I do that for the other colors so that's it now I've done it for all the three different tabs and I have a reminder here on the side so that's all good now I want to do more or less the same but instead of um, changing the font I want to change the, uh, the cell background itself so I suppose I could start uh, copying this the, this here as a starting point and I just go under manage rules and what do I want to do? So this time it's not based on, I'm just gonna take the type one. It's not based on the, on this field here. It's more, I need two conditions, uh, not only based on which category I am, but um, if someone has input anything in that field. So if the field itself here, and I remove all the dollars, is different from blank. So then I will format the field. And I could format the font as well. This way that will completely hide it. So now when I input any types of character at all, it just colors it. So I just need to keep going this and uh, I just need to do that for the others. Actually, I might be better off duplicating this one and using this one as a reference. So I'll do that. So now it doesn't work everywhere, but what I need to do is to go, be, go back here, manage the rules, and then apply it to the whole, the whole shebang here. Make sure that it goes across. Same here, apply it to full thing. Okay, now wherever I put it, there is something else I want to do. I want to at the, at the end of the last field here, I want to calculate how much how much of this has been done. So I just use the count A. That tells me how many fields, uh, non blonde fields there is in all this. Okay, 
is the count A, drag it down. I could also do a basic uh, formatting. And you have created here this um, conditional formatting to bring back the same color, same, same system as before. So that's done. So now there are a few calculation fields that I need. Uh, I need to calculate how many of the of those are health uh, every day. Uh, so this way after I can do overall calculation. So here I'm doing this formula here. So I'm counting, if I double click on it just to show you, um, I'm counting how many of those are not blank. And the additional condition is I want to check which category it is because I want to bring them, uh, I want to split them by category. So how much of the health are not blank here? So I've just copy this and then I could just need to uh, copy it down and I just check that it works. So if I put something here, yes, it works. And then I copy all that across. So I'm just going to add more, more data here just to uh, have a little bit more realistic. Okay. And then every week I want to calculate uh, the total. Okay. So every week, so I just make sure I count seven days and I just do an autosum here. Autosum like this every seven days and I drag it down. And then what I just need to do is I just copy that, put it just after. Now something else that would be useful in the future is uh, to uh, do a cumulative for it. So to do a cumulative, I start with zero here and then I just take the first one here and I add this. So this will give me the total. I just take this and I put a reminder here of the fields that I'm dealing with. Just put it a reminder here. And the final thing that I need is for this, I'd like to have charts as well, but they're all a bit too spread apart. So I just want to manually bring them together. I mean, there are other ways, but um, I, I, just, I just want to keep it simple and I just don't want to start using filtering and stuff like that. Down for one, I just have to drag it down. Okay, so now I have my, um, I have all the data I need to start uh, drawing some charts. So the first chart I would like to do is, I'm gonna get started with this one here. Uh, I'll select this and I select all that and I just do an insert. I'm just going to do a very simple line chart because it could be a little bit overwhelming here. This is for the first chart. Now the second chart, I wanted to have a split, weekly split. Do an insert. I just select this, do an insert. And this time I want to have the stacked column chart. Put it here. The third chart I wanted is uh, the overall total. So here I just sum everything for each category. So I've just added everything and uh, just select it. Uh, but before I select it, I want to select this as well. Press Ctrl and select this as well. And then insert. And I'm just going to take a donut for that one. Okay, so we have our three charts that we can put at the top here. So I'm just going to put all those charts, I'm just going to put them with um, no fill. Okay, if we start off with this one. Uh, I'm removing the grids. I just want to change the label on the, on the axis here, format axis. And the number, I want to put a specific code. I want to put the week here, week. And then uh, the code itself. So it should give me the week number. Uh, whoops. So that gives me the week number. Uh, I can remove this. We should all know what it's about now. I want to remove the, the axis here. I want to put around 50 here. And now I want to make sure that the colors, uh, I take the consistent colors. So for the first one here, what, which one is this? So this is a health one. So this one should be with that color. 
second one is the money, so that should be red. I just need to make sure I have a good red for it. And the first one I'll be putting the blue then. I'm going to give it a solid border. Thick border, 225 here. I'm just going to put... Okay. Um, I'm going to add the data label as well. And I want to put it in white. And bold. Okay, now this one. So this one, um, it's uh, more or less the same. I want to make sure that I have the right thing here. So the money here is in red. The second one is the spiritual, which is blue. Third one has to be health. So that's one way to do it. You can just leave it this way if you like it this way. But um, what I want to do instead is and then you can choose. Uh, I would like to try to have the uh, change the chart type and have areas instead. Uh, so I just put area here and the areas that uh, would accumulate. Um, format health, uh, this one is money and this one would be I want to put also some nice thick border to it. Okay, so now it doesn't. Um, now the way the reason why it stops is because we we kept uh, we kept uh, one habit in one side and not on the other side. So that's a good way to check. I'm just going to keep it super simple. I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to remove that as well. So we're just going to give a bit more room for this. Um, now you might be wondering which color it is. So I know we have a reminder here and reminder here, but maybe we'll put, uh, we'll make it clearer on this one. So here I want to remove this and I want to remove this. I want to put a chart titles uh, a different way. Um, so here I just go back here and just check which one it is. Change the, the hole here. Well, I want to put um, I want to add the labels here too and uh, I want to change the labels all right so I bring back the category name which is what I wanted uh, just uh, want to have some little lines there that's going to show me so this will be a reminder if they are not sure if you reminder of the colors and I mean if you want to if you if you want you can bring back some icons too as usual you you bring like for instance uh, for one for spiritual I think they see if there's something spiritual here well I don't mind this one uh, Monet. They're free, I just put them in white. I just squeeze them a bit, make them shorter. Now that's it. So if you want to hide all this, uh, let's see if, if you want to hide all this, you just select everything, you press data uh, group. And if you group it like this, you notice everything disappeared. So in order to remediate, you need to go here. You press on select data, hidden or empty cells, show data in hidden rows and you need to tick this and you do need to do this for the free charts. So you might want to have some titles. To have some titles, so let's just put some uh, boxes here. I don't like the square one, so you just put the rounded one. And here you choose a color, uh, maybe one of the color we had, so it doesn't clash too much. And we, you put uh, uh, overall results here. Maybe you can put all that in white, so it stands out a little bit. The date in white. Um, here you go. And I uh, hope you have fun with it.
Let me know how you go and if you need a template, just uh, let me know as well.